Hi guys, today I'm doing an instructional video on how to rebuild the ECS drive shaft on the X-ray T4. Sometimes I receive questions from guys, they keep having problems with ECS, that the pins come out or they fall apart or they keep having um, various issues. But if you maintain these ECS as well, they will last pretty long and you will have uh, minimal problems. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild it the way I do it. And I know for a fact that they last very long, especially for indoor racing, for stock racing. And the wear in modified racing is a little bit more, uh, of course, because of the, the power we have in the cars now. But the maintenance of the drivetrain can really prolong the life of all your components. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild it properly in some simple steps. So the process is fairly simple. I got the ECS right here that I want to rebuild. Uh, it's been used quite a bit, but I think there's still some, some life in it. You need to pay attention to the play this way when you hold these parts and pull them, pull them away from each other. If there's too much play in this direction, or if you can visibly see that the pins and the couplings have play, then it's time to replace the drive shaft. But this one right here is still in fairly good condition, so we can rebuild it and we can uh, put it back in the car. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna use a paper towel to clean it. So you need to open it up with your hoodie 1.5 millimeter uh, driver. Sometimes the set screws are a bit hard to get off. Get them out of there. So you need to separate all these parts carefully. Pull the pins out. Push the couplings out. Right there you have them all. Then I'm gonna use a brake cleaner to clean. Spray them out. It's important to get all the uh, dust and grime out of the drive shafts. Take the coupling, just roll them like that, just try to get the dust off them. Take a bit of paper, wipe everything off. some paper into the coupling, into the casing, get it all out like that. And there you got the parts ready to mount. So we start with the set screws. I'm going to use a medium strength Loctite uh, tread lock that I'm going to apply to these screws. It's important not to use too much because if you get tread lock onto the moving parts of the ECS, it's going to make it bind up. So it's very important to not use too much. A little bit. You tread and the screws into the couplings. Just add a little bit of tread lock onto this set screw. Put it in there, those are ready. Then for lubrication, I am using a hoodie graphite grease. Uh, actually comes in a T4 kit, but it's a little bit bigger uh, can. This grease works very well for this application because it's not so liquid. So, in opposite of an oil, uh, this will actually stay on the couplings for some time. It will not come flying out as soon as you hit the throttle, as oil will do. So 
So I, re I really recommend to use a grease for this lubrication of the couplings because it stays there quite long and it's quite durable, also heat resistant. There's other uh, greases available from other manufacturers too that works fairly well too, I'm sure. But the hoodie one does just fine. So insert the coupling. Again, it's important not to use too much grease because um, too much grease will just like, get sprayed over the car when you hit the throttle. So just a little bit to not mess up the car and mess up your transmission too much. It's important to tighten the set screw onto the flat spot of the pin as hard as you can without breaking it. Clean it off a little. Next one. Again, I apply a liberal amount of grease onto the coupling, not too much. Insert it. There we go. Almost done. That's the second pin going in. Tighten the set screw. Done. So there we have it, the ECS is ready to use, there's only the last part missing which is to replace the optional 3.5mm cap and to do that first you need to remove the old one. So I'm going to remove the old one just with a side cutter, just cut it off, it comes off like that. Then you have the new one. Actually use the side of the board to push it against, to open it up a little bit, to make it easier to, to fit onto the drive shaft. So it's open up a little, I can push it onto the pin, like that. And then I push the open part against the board like that, push it in, and there it is, on the drive shaft. I replace these every time I rebuild the drive shaft because they don't wear a crazy amount but it's still good to have fresh uh, cap on there to minimize play in your drivetrain. There's another trick I'm going to show you to maximize the life of these uh, caps. As you can see it has a, a tiny bit of play on the drive shaft. Something you can do to take the play out is use a lighter and you heat up this center bit here of the cap, just a tiny bit, just like that, and you push it together with a pliers, just like that, that way the play is a lot less. And that concludes the building of the ECS or rebuilding in this case. I mean it's a fairly simple process you should repeat this probably every one or two races or as often as you feel that your car has been run in a poor condition um, where the track is dirty or such then it's more important to to rebuild drive shafts and I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please Contact me regarding other videos or if, if you have any requests uh, of me doing any sort of videos or any tutorials just like this one, uh, please let me know and I will work on it. I will, I will probably do it depending on your requests. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.